Hi, I'm Noblesin, and in seven days, the official Primal Carnage Evolution reveal trailer on Sony's YouTube channel turns one year old. It's been a long time since Evolution was announced, and very soon is it finally going to get released. The developers are pretty confident now that they are in the, 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 the real final stretch here. At least that's what they keep saying in the Discord. And they keep revealing a lot of new stuff for the upcoming 3.0 update, which is also Primal Carnage Evolution evolution for console pretty much every single day. And there has been a couple massive things that I need to make a video about. Uh, the Road to 3.0 Part 1 gameplay. So they're going to be revealing different parts of the Road to 3.0 uh, as, you know, a as development goes on. And currently we get to talk about the gameplay. And there is a new news tab that has been posted all about the upcoming soundtrack, the updated soundtrack, which is very impressive so far. We have been given a, a few teasers for the uh, Primal Carnage soundtrack, and I showed them in my last couple of videos. I will link them in the description below if you do want to watch those, but here we get teasers of that and more voice lines as well, and we get to learn about those voice lines. So first, I want to talk about the soundtrack. Let's get that going first. If you go to their website and you go to the news tab, you'll see an evolved soundtrack. It's the second newest thing, uh, and I meant to make a video before, but I didn't because I was waiting on this new camera. Look at it. It's amazing, isn't it? You can see my hand in 4K, uh, where they explicitly say they are now in the final polishing phase. The new person making the soundtrack is uh, Lyndon, Lyndon Kwan, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, they do an amazing job at mimicking what uh, Gar Gareth Coker um, did with this game a, a long time ago before, uh, well now, now he's on much bigger projects, but it's, it's, it's impressive that we still have soundtracks from someone that big. And um, this new composer has done an amazing job at really fitting the theme of Primal. And we get to hear that here with uh, new subclass soundtracks. So Spinosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Cryolophosaurus, things like that, will get their own soundtracks. Mostly it's going to be deviations of the original soundtrack that they would have, which makes sense. They're a subclass. So like Spinosaurus Light would be kind of a remix of Tyrannosaurus Light a little bit. And we'll play the sample here. Let's listen to it. That is very nice. Obviously, this is still, you know, work in progress. It's not finished yet. And we only get that little 30 second clip. But from just that alone, I am so excited to hear the rest of the subclasses. We got some of Acros as well in the description but that's gonna be awesome. From the bone-headed brawler Pachycephalosaurus to the desert nomad feeling of the wandering Spinosaurus, each dinosaur will have a distinctive musical voice, featuring newly created light and heavy combat tracks. So everyone will get a light and heavy, as it currently is in-game. Not only this, but we will also have new ambient tracks, like for sandbox exploration or hanging out in the Dilo clubhouse, or, or browsing in your inventory. I didn't see that one before. That's really cool. <laughs> So it's gonna be real, really detailed. Everything will have a, uh, a theme. I wonder, will the shop have its own theme? I can imagine, like, you know, a light, a light kind of elevator-y kind of theme to it. As if you're, like, brow browsing through a, I don't know, not a library, but, like, you know, a, a, a dollar store with, like, music playing a little bit. Just some something light. I think that would be very fun for a shop. I don't know why Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare comes to mind. But kind of like that, I guess, a little bit. The long, oh, the long unused humans and dinos start tracks from back of the day will now trigger the first time you spawn in into a map. So those sound like this.
And they're supposed to be the opposite of like the end round music whenever you win as Dino or lose as Dino or win as human or lose as human. But this is starting the match. And they've always been included in the soundtrack for a long time now, just never used in game. And finally, we get them back. And then specific music for conditions. So if you're a human and you get pounced by a raptor, you'll hear uh, a theme play. I, it might be a raptor theme or it might be a remix of a raptor theme play during the you know, duration of your struggling. Same thing when uh, being picked up by a Pteranodon, most likely. And also whenever you're capturing a point in Get to the Chopper. And when the match is in its final minute or enters overtime, a tension track plays. That sounds very cool, I like that. If you're rampaging a bunch of enemies in a row, the kill streak theme for Human, Dino, or Tyrant will start blasting. There's a lot of smaller stingers with short cues for everything that we did. Okay, that's really cool. So yeah, an up close melee kill is Human, you'll hear a little a little stinger uh, <laughs> being melted by acid that's so awesome taken as a whole the new music makes the experience a lot more dynamic and exciting compared to before but this is just one of many major overhauls we've been working on there are over 3,000 lines of newly recorded dialogue plus revamped weapon sounds across the board 3,000 new lines <laughs> that's awesome. Not only will the music be super dynamic, but so will the voices. There, there's so many different contexts that they will speak in. So for example, if they spot a tyrant or something like that, you will know because you'll hear your teammates say, uh, like, I don't know, uh, oi, there's a big fucker coming or something like that. I don't know, that, that's what I assume a trapper would say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I heard Dinosauriac mention that it will be a consistent joke that none of them will ever get the dinosaur names right. So like in some of the voice lines we already hear, uh, we hear them trying to pronounce the dinosaurs names and it's uh, it always messes up. So like Carnosaurus, for example, or something like that. <laughs> and that is all for an evolved soundtrack. I am so excited for this. All right, and now on the Road to 3.0 Part 1 gameplay. Uh, opening up with... Uh, mm. We hope everyone had a rarsome summer with some awesome artwork here as well. Uh, I forget the artist's name, but I will put it up on screen here. They have done a lot of pieces uh, now for a bunch of different classes and for the merch store, and it has been amazing. I like this as a new art style for Primal Carnage. Like the detailing on all the scales is so, you know exactly what it would feel like if you were to touch it. Okay, yeah, they literally say over the next couple posts, we will be diving deep into some new changes that are all Already playable on the 3.0 beta on PC or will be soon. I have not read this yet by the way, so all of my reactions to all of this will be uh, the same as you. So Raptor Pounce Recode. Yeah, a lot of people think the Pounce fucking sucks, uh, especially, you know, as, as of recent and on PC. And oftentimes the problem is you'll just bounce straight off of who you pounce on. I pretty much don't use Pounce when I'm playing as Predator because 9 times out of 10, You'll pounce into someone and bounce off right before you hit them, which is strange. It feels like you should be pinning them, but you bounce off instead. And it seems like they found the problem to that and they fixed it. So it seems like they want to remove this, but because it's such a staple in Primal Carnage, they're kind of forced to fix it, which I find really funny. I know the, the developers for a long time have had such beef with uh, the flyers. Uh, so here is a graph that I don't quite understand. The Pounce Overhaul's goal is to make it an actual viable mechanic that is reliable and versatile. I would hope that would, you know, be the same with any ability in game. Previously, you'd often pounce someone and just end up standing in front of them, nose to nose. A lot of this is due to the arc between you and the target getting obstructed. Even just skidding along the floor invalidated it, because the raptor technically had already landed before it hit anybody. The pounce code was completely rewritten uh, for more advanced trajectory calculation. Uh, here we also get a look at the new charge up animation. Oh yeah, look at that. It disables head tracking temporarily during the animation. I don't know if that's just placeholder, but it would be cool if your raptor were to stay having its head aiming at the target while it was readying the pounce. Because currently it's just kind of like, I want to pounce down there. And then it gets ready. Dangerous spitters. As essentially support classes, one goal for the spitters has always been increasing their versatility and giving them ways to can still contribute without being the most powerful frontline dino. So it seems like here, if you kill a cryolophosaurus that is charging up spit, it will just instantly blow up into what would have been a cryo bomb, but uh, it'll just detonate right where the cryo is standing, which is really funny. The melting utility of Cryolophosaurus has also been extended. It can destroy thrown health kits, ammo kits, and uh, now it has slightly higher HP. So yeah, if, if, if Commando throws down health kits or ammo kits, spit on them, 
they will disappear, just like mines, which is awesome. That's, I'd say that's much needed, and I'm surprised that hasn't been a thing already. Heavy melee overhaul. So what this adds is a little dash forward as you melee, which is, I think, much needed, because uh, previously you couldn't really, uh, it was very short ranged, or it was very like, I don't know, it, it felt odd. It felt a little inconsistent. But now you dash forward, and they properly have a stagger animation as well. They'll fall back, get back up, and it looks really cool. And it makes it much more obvious that the raptor is actually actually you know, stunned. Raptor Pounce Escape. This is really cool. So previously, if a raptor had begun mauling someone with low stamina, they would be able to detach at zero stamina with no consequences, and they'd still kill the person. The person would get up, and they'd, they, you know, both of you would have a little bit of like a, a cooldown timer, but the raptor could just instantly slash before you even fired a shot off, and it would always win. Now they've changed it, so when the raptor runs out of stamina, they get kicked away in this awesome <laughs> animation here, and it seems like the human recovers slightly faster than the dino. So if the human recovers a little faster, I'd like that. It says about the same length of time, but judging by the animations, it looks like the human recovers slightly faster, which is nice. And it properly, you know, pushes you two away so you're not getting up inside of each other. And bruisers can no longer deal damage or knockback through walls or ceilings if they happen to clip through them. That's <laughs> good. Just a, a good bug fix. Tupa will now do a lot more damage whenever ground pounding, so it's not just a finisher move, and possibly also changing whether the altitude that in, in which you, you know, press right click will affect the damage output. And now if a tyrant or something falls on you, it'll it'll squish you, instantly killing you. For scientists' darts now, uh, if you want them to be effective at all, you have to hit the soft spot of a dinosaur. So the defensive bits won't do anything, which is really cool. So a tyrant can just turn their head away from a trank pistol and they won't suffer the effects. Or dart pistol. I don't know if that's the same for dart rifle, actually. <laughs> Acro received a speed boost and Spino's claw swipe is more lethal. Interesting. And they're going to rework uh, Acro's roar ability to be uh, a little more proportionate to each class, I think. And the camera improvements. Previously, shoulder camera was very icky. Uh, I never used it personally, ever, because you only have to switch between one or two sides, so you'd have to press a different key if you wanted to switch looking the other way, but now it actually switches smoothly, which is very nice. I hit my microphone. They fixed the uh, giant arms that you would see in spectator mode, as you see in this screenshot right here. They fixed that, and it seems like they fixed other spectator bugs as well, which spectator, especially on PC, was uh, buggy. And we got more camera UI stuff. So we can actually see uh, glows around objects or highlights around them whenever we need to use them or something like that, uh, which looks much more like in OG. If you saw those corpses, they would grow glow yellow or orange, but now they do an extinction as well. This can also be disabled if you just want to keep the red outline. The red outline will stay, but this will just appear whenever you're close to them. We hope to bring the 3.0 beta to the live Steam game around Halloween. Fingers crossed. That is exciting, but still not concrete and apparently there's going to be much more that will be tested on the PlayStation closed beta side very soon. As soon as this update comes out for PC, you'll be able to play all the nighttime maps immediately or a lot of them. Over two dozen reworked maps and map variants, which is sweet. And look at this, here they seem to have dropped an Iguanodon model for the upcoming sandbox mode that will be replacing Free Roam very soon. This is very exciting. So while this isn't going to be a new competitive class, we are actually getting confirmation here that we will finally be able to play as an herbivore. That's pretty cool. And I think that is it. By the way, now that this video is out of the way and we got multiple new stuff coming out about 3.0 on the way very soon, I will be uploading videos as soon as those come out. So if you want to, subscribe and you will get these placed right on your home screen of YouTube as soon as I make a video on those. I'll also post updates in my community tab, so it is definitely worth subscribing. And like the video also if you want to support it. And uh, Share this with anyone else that, uh, you know, wants to know about the PlayStation 4 update or 3.0 if they're PC player. And finally, with the video concluding like that, I want to let you know that the music you've been listening to in the background of this video has been Cryolophosaurus Heavy. Dinosauriac, the lead developer, sent me this audio track to play exclusively in this video for you. So you have been listening to Cryo Heavy. And as this video is ending uh, for my outro, I'll let you listen to the soundtrack a little bit without my voice myself. But thank you guys all very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.